Hi, in this problem we're going to do a proof. So let alpha and beta be complex numbers. We're going to prove that the conjugate of the product is equal to the product of the conjugates. So the conjugate of alpha beta is equal to the conjugate of alpha times the conjugate of beta. Recall if you have a complex number, say z equals x plus iy, the conjugate of z is simply x minus iy. All right, let's go ahead and go through the proof. So proof. So we'll start by letting alpha and beta be complex numbers. So let alpha be equal to say alpha one plus alpha sub two i and beta equal to beta sub one plus beta sub two i. And let's go ahead and work out the right hand side of this equation first. So then let's look at the conjugate of alpha all you do is switch the sign, just like in this example up here. So this is alpha sub 1 minus alpha sub 2i. And the conjugate of beta is beta sub 1 minus beta sub 2i. Again, just switching the sign. So now the product, conjugate of alpha times the conjugate of beta. So we replace the conjugate of alpha with what we have here. So this will be parentheses alpha sub 1 minus alpha sub 2i, and the conjugate of beta is beta sub 1 minus beta sub 2i. All right, so now we have to basically multiply this out. So to do this, we can um, do it in steps, or I can do it all at once. Um, I'm going to, I guess I'll do it in steps. So it's alpha 1 times all of this. minus alpha 2i times all of this, just using the distributive property. Nothing fancy here, so just alpha 1 times this, and then minus this times this. We can distribute here, this is alpha 1 beta 1, minus alpha 1 beta sub 2i. Same thing here, minus alpha 2 beta sub 1i, plus alpha 2 beta sub 2 I squared. Okay, let's keep going here. Um, these terms have i's. We can combine them. I squared is equal to negative 1. So this is really minus alpha 2 beta 2. So let's combine these. This will be alpha 1 beta 1 minus alpha sub 2 beta sub 2. I forget to say sub sometimes. <laughs> and then here we can pull out a minus 1 or negative one. So you have alpha sub one beta sub two plus alpha sub two beta sub one and put the i here at the end. So this is um, the conjugate of alpha times the conjugate of beta. So now we need to look at the product uh, alpha beta and take its conjugate. So now alpha beta, well we know that's alpha sub one plus alpha sub two i times beta sub 1 plus beta sub 2i. And let's just go ahead and do the multiplication all at once this time. So we need to basically combine the real part and combine the imaginary part. So the real part's gonna have this times this, alpha sub 1, beta sub 1, and then this times this, but it'll become negative because of the i squared. So minus alpha sub 2, beta sub 2. So that's the real part, plus the imaginary part will be this, times this, so alpha sub one beta sub two, and then this times this, so plus alpha sub two beta sub one, and then an i. So then the conjugate of alpha beta is alpha sub one beta sub one minus alpha sub two beta sub two minus alpha sub one beta sub two plus alpha sub two beta sub one. I went pretty fast there, trying to keep this uh, video short and not make the proof super long. And so notice something, so notice we're done, right? So alpha conjugate, beta conjugate is here, right? We did that up here. And that is exactly the same as what we have here. So these are exactly the same, right? This is the same as this, they are identical. So, but that's equal to that. So that's what we had to prove. So we are done. 
not a hard proof, just a little bit tedious. Uh, hopefully this video has helped someone out there in the world who is learning uh, about the basics of complex numbers. Good luck.